Since its conception in the early 1960s, the action figure has become the most sought after product from nerds, fanboys and basement dwellers alike. The craving has become so bad, companies must reinvent themselves in order to shape these characters from favourite media outlets such as video games, film and television and online streaming services. One such company has slowly plagued toy shelves and has since garnered a questionable fandom monopolizing the market by oversaturation. Why do people like these? Why do they collect them? Is this the end of plausible action figures? All these questions remain to be answered. Is this the end? Why are you asking me? I don't know. The Pop Vinyl Toy was created in 2010 by Funko, the original name being Funko Force 2.0. Aside from doing DC, the company has branched out to other franchises. The term pop is in relation to pop culture. But what is a pop? Allow my expert to tell you. Well, most of them are just a bobblehead without actually being a bobblehead. You get the big head, giant black eyes, little body. Some of them can't stand up by themselves, so you need to stand for them. If that was in real life, that would look bloody terrifying. You want me to describe a pop in my own words? Uh, they're measly collectibles that, while have a certain charm to them, are becoming the new Beanie Baby. I'll put this right. A pop vinyl is basically something made by Funko so they can release their own line of certain characters that Hasbro haven't already released. The best way that I would describe a Funko Pop is understandably avoidable, but easily addictive. I currently own five Funko Pops, five too many. I have the Royal Guard, Tusken Raider, Shore Trooper, Flame Trooper, and Kylo Ren. One of them that I got as a gift from someone who is generally unfamiliar with my collecting. I have 14 Pops in total in my collection, um, 12 of which have been kept in the box as part of a display, and two are on the dashboard of my car. Of the Pops that you'll see displayed, a lot of them have a sentimental reason behind them. So General Grievous was sort of like the Pop that kicked it all off. Saw this one and decided that I wanted to get it, so my girlfriend got it as a gift. These three at the top and this one here fall on. These were all celebration exclusives and I wanted to complete that set because I wanted to designate an area of my collection to Star Wars Celebration because that was a really big event. I was really happy to have been able to attend it. My main reason for collecting Pops is because they offer something a little bit different to what I've collected for the past 20 years, which has been three and three quarter inch and six inch action figures. I like the unique design that they have. Some of them look clever enough and close enough, like my Robocop here. Well, I currently own about 23 Pop vinyls in my collection. I've been collecting since the fall of 2014, I collect them sort of every now and again. I own 50. I collect pop vinyls because they are quite cute, to be fair. To me, the design of pops is something that appeals to me. The packaging in particular, you know, there's just something about the way they display. With some of the series I collect them for, you don't have much variety in other figures. It's the same with like Orphan Black, that's uh, one of my favourite shows, but they're the only figures I've actually found for them and it's quite nice to actually be able to collect these characters that I really like. How far they've expanded, like there's versions of characters you didn't think they would actually make. It's just more like that, how they've expanded beyond their TV films just to go well out of the way. Some things I like about them is that they're easy to collect, they're relatively affordable, but they're nicely stocked. You, you can walk into a store and generally find the Funko Pop you want. It's a little easier to collect them than, say, the likes of Hasbro Star Wars figures. I definitely understand why people don't like or collect Pops. Ooh, there's, there, there, there's a lot I don't like about them. Like I said, I have quite the aversion. A lot of it probably boils down to the overall style of Pops. Some of them do look the same. Who, who came up with that initial design, really? The, the, the black eyes? And sometimes they change the color of the eyes, and sometimes they break away from the no mouth thing. Every Joker Funko Pop has the smile. What? If you're gonna have a weird set rule, why don't you stick to that rule? I can understand why some people may be put off by the cutesy, chibi look. Some of them you can't even tell who the characters look like. The 21's Jump Street ones, they don't look like blooming Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill, do they? 
I think oversaturation plays a big part of that as well. I looked across, there's about 12 versions of Ray out there. Regular scavenger, scavenger with the goggles and all that. And there's one with the pilot helmet, which is a bit ridiculous because she only wears that pilot helmet for about two seconds in the whole film. There's one with Finn's jacket. There's one with the lightsaber. There's one with the lightsaber in another position. Random repacks like that are just stupid. The fact that they're everywhere. That was a plus, but it's also a minus. There are just so many out there that People know they're going to get carried away if they start collecting them. I remember I used to go to Hot Topic. I, I'm not, I'm not emo. Don't think I'm emo. They used to have this little section of Funko Pops. Now they have a whole freaking wall of them in the back. I'm like, yeah, those are nice. But also for 10 bucks, you can get a collectible that's way nicer. Uh, I walk into a store and I see no Marvel Legends. Maybe a couple. Maybe like the Beetle figure that is now the current peg warmer. Tons of Funkos. Tons of Funko Pops. I love how people call them Funkos nowadays instead of Funko Pops. Wow, look at these new Funkos! Aren't they great? Aren't they exciting? I love them! I think toy companies are seeing the success of Funko, and it may be the reason why Hasbro wanted to limit the articulation and make their toys more simplistic. Because Funko Pop is so successful and they're not going for like NECA quality of toys where they're super articulated, super detailed, really nice. Um, they might be setting industry standard, however, I, I can't tell. I can't sit here and tell you that they are. Funko Pops are a little bit weird. There's probably equal amounts of reasons why people do collect and why they don't collect. They're starting to set an industry standard. It's... I, I don't understand. I don't understand why they've become such a phenomenon. They're an anomaly. There's just something about them. I, as a documentary maker and figgy collector, couldn't have put it better myself.